1424 once again with NASCAR Heat 2. And in this episode of our season with Ty Jeskis number 60, not iRacing Ford, we are going to be completing race 21 of 33, which is going to take place at Mid-Ohio. I hate Mid-Ohio. It's so hard for me to race at it, whether I'm alone or especially online. And then we're going to be racing with AI for the first time. I've never raced at this track with AI, so maybe it'll make me better just having cars take me from being stupid, or maybe it'll make me even more stupid than usual. Uh, so, th I don't know what to say. But in the last episode, we got ourselves a top five finish at Watkins Glen, so we have ourselves a road course weekend. And that was so refreshing, because that is our first top five in two weeks. Can we get ourselves another top five at Mid-Ohio? I highly doubt it. And I should highly doubt it so that we get good results in the end, because that really worked with Watkins Glen. I hoped for the worst, and I got the best. Well, not not the best, but I, I got good. I don't know. But you can go ahead and look at the point settings right now. Um, it's still all the way down there, because I was just recording the other video. But yeah, just now, Guy got his fourth win at Watkins Glen, and um, he's got quite a big lead over William Byron. And then you got Elliot Tadler third, Eric Jones fourth, Ryan Reed fifth with no wins. Uh, we moved up into ninth place again after our finish at Watkins Glen, and you can go ahead and take a look at the playoff standings as well. Even if I get myself a fourth win, myself, even if we get ourselves our fourth win at some point uh, within the next few races, we still won't be competition for Justin Allgaier in the playoffs. So I think Justin Allgaier is going to win the regular season or whatever it's called. Well, yeah, I mean, in points, that's just points, I think, for the regular season. But he's going to be at the top once the playoffs begin. Now... Let's go ahead and get to Mid-Ohio. Yesterday, Matt Tift gave me arrow damage at Watkins Glen, and I got fifth place with arrow damage. Never had the opportunity to fix it. Actually, I had the opportunity once, but I decided not to fix it because I didn't want to lose all the positions that I had already. <sighs> Freaking brake checking through corners. Are we going to get more brake checking into every corner at this track? I don't know. <sighs> Here I go into qualifying so you can witness how bad I am at this track. Maybe I've gotten a little experience at this point and I won't do so bad. I don't know. Here we come off the final corner to we'll start our lap of qualifying. I'm barely making some of these corners and in other ones I am hitting the brakes a little too early for them. I don't know if I overdrove that corner or not. It looked okay. I'm just hoping that I qualify in the top 30 like I did in the last episode. Even though in the last episode I probably should have done better. Slow down the car. Slow down the car. Don't drive off the track. Don't drive. You drove off the track. And now I have to start in last place. Starting from the tail of the field, I didn't want this, but this is, uh, this sucks. Now, even though this game came out like half a year ago, or maybe not half a year, maybe a little less than that, I, I still don't know this track enough to get the brakes at the right time and shit like that. And the reason probably is because I don't see any breaking points the majority of the time. Stop driving so slow. I mean, I know I have my problems, but you're just rubbing your ass all over my face as, as if I'm driving slow. I mean, golly, you're, you're a whole new level of slow. And I'm waiting for this guy to get going so I can go. I'm, not just, I'm just gonna push everybody around because they're going slower than I am. I don't know if they're trying to train me to hit the brakes at the right time, but them driving this slow is not helping me. They give us two laps in the first stage. With how slow these guys are going and forcing me to drive so slow, I don't think I'm going to have that much of an opportunity to make up that many positions. I'm trying. Okay, they're slowing down, so I'm going to hit the brakes really freaking hard into this corner. Not too bad. And now I'm making it three wide because that guy is going slow as fuck. So is David Starr. Where the hell? What the hell? He just completely stopped his car in the middle of the corner. I don't know. And now two car, Ben Kennedy's not going anywhere. No one's going anywhere. I thought this would be hard. This is hard in the sense of trying not to hit people, but it's easy in the sense of getting around people. I don't know. I can't get around people without hitting them. That's what the problem is. So we're in 28th place. Yay, I made up 12 positions so far this lap. Probably can make another three before the finish line. Oh my god, Casey Kane's going slow to this point. I'm going to go right around him. Okay, don't drive off the track right here. If I recall, I've drifted through this corner several times. Drive faster, Dylan Luck. Yeah, Smithley. Okay, stop being loose, stop being loose. What the hell is that guy doing up the track? And how was he able to get out of the sand so easily? Whenever I get in the sand, my car can't do that whatsoever. Is that William Byron? I think that's William Byron. Dylan Lufty. Would you get your freaking albums? Albums? Albums out of my way? Uh, it looks like Elliot. Not Elliot Tyler. William Byron, like I just said. 
And, yep, that's that's William Byron in 24th place. He's doing pretty well this season. And I just said that at the end of the video. And now, it's all gone. I'm going to start crying. Not really. I'm just still stuffed up. I'm probably going to be stuffed up for the remainder of the week in terms of content just because of when I'm recording these videos. Okay, hit the brakes really hard. Slow down. Don't drive off the track. I can't stop my car from driving off the track, but I can dump Daniel Suarez and bring out another caution. Another caution. He's the first caution. I just kind of figured that I would have brought out like four cautions by now. I, I held the brakes for a, a pretty freaking long time, but there was no stopping the car. So we just wrecked Daniel Suarez. And we're going to be taking pit stops after stage one. So, yeah, stage one was only two laps, so I guess that makes sense. We'll go ahead and pit with everybody. Um, I don't need to repair any damage. I don't really have that much. We'll get four tires and a full tank of fuel so we can make it through the rest of the race. Uh, the thing about that is... Are we going to pit it again after stage 2 like we did at Watkins Bin or what? So I'm in last place. All the progress that I made in the first stage doesn't matter to this game. You just make sure that my pit always sucks. You say I'll oh, use pit strategy. Pit strategy doesn't even matter whenever I need my tires to handle the track and I need the fuel to get to the end of the race. I don't know when we're going to pit again. Stop driving so slow. Y'all are, are making me pass you before the start finish line. That is illegal. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. They're driving so slow and this track is really small, so they're forcing me to make passes on them whenever I really do not want to until the start finish line, so I can play by the rules. I did it the first time. Uh, I'm driving like crap because it's too hard to drive well. It, it really, I mean, I'm a good racer and all that shit, but they're not letting me be a good racer. They're forcing me to be a, just a bad racer, all kinds of crap. Whoever the hell this is, Timothy Hill. Is that what his name is? Timothy Hill? That's not it. I don't know what the hell is. Yeah, T Timothy, Timmy, whatever. Timmy Turner over here in 34th place. Okay, king of hell, king of nothing. Okay, we've got a good breaking point this time. And Joey, that's not Joey Gates, Tyler Reddick just crashed into uh, Blake Cook. For the first time, I'm not the one making a mistake. This is just fantastic. Driving between these two guys. Oh my god, this is like a road course race on easy difficulty in Astro 9 for me. Except the car is harder to drive because of the, the grass and the looseness and how it responds to things with the physics engine. I'm trying to go around Dylan Rupton. Rupton? Lupton, but it, there, I, I'm afraid that if I try going around, I'm just going to drive off the track. Okay, here we go. He's staying on the outside for me. The car got really loose right there. He's still on my inside. Okay, here we go. I mean, at first it was the outside, but I called it the inside because the next corner was um, the opposite. Don't force me off the track. And there's a caution. Well, at least I didn't cause a caution this time. We, we can't co even complete one lap now. Damn. Okay, so we're not taking pit stops after stage two. That is nice to hear. Wait, did that end the stage? I think it ended the stage. I don't know. Or maybe that was just a regular caution. I think that ended the stage. I wasn't really paying attention to what was on my screen anymore. But they're not pitting. I'm not pitting. I think we have enough fuel to make it to the end. We got the tires. We got the fuel. We got everything we need, so if they didn't take four tires after stage one, we should win this race. Or at least I th think so. Is this the final stage? I'm going to find out whenever it gets. Yeah, this is the final stage. Ben Rose is raw off the track for not going anywhere. I mean, I pushed him out of the way because he wasn't going anywhere. Go at the restart. We got it. Let me guess, that was for Ben Rose. Which y'all... Why y'all going so... Just... I'm just about to just stop recording this video and not even bother finishing this race. Get a DNF because nothing matters in this freaking race right now. Just nothing. There's no chivalry. There's no clean racing. There's no intelligence. These drivers are all artificially stupid. I thought I would be the problem at Mid-Ohio, but nope. It's all, all AI. Everything right now is just AI's fault. I can't take the blame for a goddamn thing whenever I'm racing this track, apparently. Nice. Better off to AI stupid than me stupid because I think I've been a little too stupid in my life at this point. Uh, I'm not going anywhere in the corner. I'll go around you on the inside right here. Is that Ben Rhodes right there in front of me? I don't know. I can't be Ben Rhodes. Ben Rhodes was behind us a while ago. I have no straightaway speed. What the hell? I just noticed that. They were pulling away after my shift. Um, that's Smithy. Okay, that's not. Can't be Ben Rhodes. I'm right. We're in 24th. This is a green white checker. Mid Ohio. You can't tell me that it's not justified that I hate the fuck out of this track. 
We just flew through this race. The AI are retarded, and this track is really freaking hard to drive because I can't find out the breaking points even after the almost half a year that this game has been out and all that nonsense. Go somewhere. Drive your race car. Do things. William Byron is in 19th, so he's made up like five positions since the last time I saw him. I almost pushed him off the track. I'd be slapping my face for that one. Or slapping myself in the face for that one if I did, but I didn't. They were going to make a pass right here. No one's letting me clear them. I have to force myself up into every driver on this racetrack to get around them. Either that, they have to slam on the brakes for no reason like they usually do. Like, he didn't have to be on the brakes that hard at that part of the track in particular, but he was. Okay, we got 19th. Next time by, we've got one lap to go. I'm just going to make it 3 wide going into this really tight corner because I'm a jackass. We all know it. And Michael Nett drives off the track. Cole Cusser drives off the track. Please don't throw a caution like he did last time and ended a caution. I want to get a top 10 in this race. I think I can. Throw a caution. And yeah, it didn't end the, they didn't end the race under caution, so we, now we have another green-white checkered. This is how long the race is supposed to be, but we're not supposed to have a bunch of freaking cautions. I only caused one caution in this race. Nothing else is my fault. Nothing. Uh, no one's pitting. We still have enough fuel to make it to the end. I think it said we have six laps on fuel, but three laps to go. Oh, my God. NASCAR overtime. NASCAR overtime. Overtime is not even supposed to exist anymore in this season, but it does. Daryl Waltz Jr. did not go anywhere at that freaking restart. Um, I don't know if that was my fault or what, but he just didn't go anywhere. I go, Guster. I'll try not to custer your ass. Um, that doesn't even make any sense, does it? I'll try not to custer your ass. I should just stop titling videos what they actually are anyhow. I should just make it random crap. This video is how trying not to custer someone's ass. I don't know. It's just titled video is the most random shit. Maybe people will be more interested in watching it. I have no idea. Kind of similar to what um, the, the bigger YouTubers do these days. Or Michael Moogs, he throws in some random title first and then he titles the game and what it actually is. Shout out to Michael Maroons. Uh Earlier this week, uh, we had a NASCAR 9 race featuring Michael Maroons as a co-commentator at Dover. If you haven't checked it out yet, I insist you do because it was quite the video. The most embarrassing start for me at the beginning of a race I, I've ever had on my entire channel, so that's totally worth seeing. Along with my uh, imitation of his outro as my own outro or some shit. I'm just really hoping they don't throw a caution, but we're bound to have another caution with how slow these freaking guys are driving in front of me. I'm just going to push them by off the track and they're going to know another freaking caution. I should have put it on um, relaxed cautions because it's a road course and they don't throw cautions for that much shit in reality. And if you remember the, uh, what was it, the Sonoma race in the Cup Series in 2017? Yeah, they were a little relaxed in terms of the cautions. Like, we had a whole freaking spin in the middle of turn 11 that was a caution. Both of these guys just drove off the track and got back on because they can do that. Only the AI can get back on the tracks easy peasily. Easy peasily. I can't do that. You can't do that. Whenever you play the game, you can't do that for shit. You get stuck in there for a whole five seconds. Usually ten seconds if it's sand, but... Don't drive off the track. Okay. At least I didn't do what I did in qualifying. Can I get another top five in this race? And if there's a caution, God forbid there's a caution before we can get to the start-finish line. Please, just end their caution. I'd be fine with what position I am right now. Just please, do not throw another caution. I really, like, I'm being serious. I'd rather not win this race and have it just end under caution than to have another freaking restart and have the opportunity to win it. And then we're going to have another caution because my brakes did not work into that corner, just like always. Thank you. Did I get fifth place or did I get sixth? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I, my mom's giving me some ugly ass donuts. Um, <laughs> okay, we got a top five. That's probably not justified because I just raped Daniel Hendrick. But it's okay if he did rape Daniel Hendrick. It's somewhere in the Declaration of Independence it says raping Daniel Hendrick is okay. Every single driver finished lap down in this race. I don't know how that works, but the people that made this game, 704 Games, probably do. I figure they would have fixed this broken statistic feature by now, but nope. Just now, Guyer just went back to back and got his fifth win of the season. Maybe I could have stopped that. I don't know. I don't think we had enough time left to pass all those cars in the last lap, but I accidentally wrecked Daniel Hemrick and he finished in seventh, so I didn't do that much damage to his race. William Byron finished in 18th. I don't know how the heck that happened. I guess William Byron's just not good at road courses. I figure someone that was practicing on iRacing before he got into NASCAR would have been really good at road courses in a place like this that he had previous experience at and stuff. I don't know. Somehow William Byron just 
didn't get a good finish in this race. We can go ahead and view the point standings now. I am still in ninth place, but we are, oh my god, we are really far behind Daniel Suarez. So yeah, we're, we're pretty solid in ninth place right now. Um, we're not that far away from Jeremy Clements, who I think we passed in the last episode after Watkins Glen. Post-race information. Justin Allgaier ran the fastest lap in this race with a 1 minute and 30.789 lap time. Uh, he also led the most laps, leading 15 laps, and I'm guessing that was every lap in this race, just like the last episode. We started in 40th and finished in 5th. We were on the move. We moved up 35 spots, and it's a road course, so I guess that's not a surprise. And Ray Black Jr. had the toughest break, starting 13th and finished in 27th. I am so glad that this LSD trip of a road course weekend is over. I really am. None of this was actual racing, was it? Maybe Watkins Glen, the ending of it, had um, quite some challenge. But at Mid-Ohio, it was just caution, 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 caution. Uh, me wrecking Daniel Hemrick to get a top five unintentionally because I don't know how to hit my freaking brakes at the right time. Just ever at Mid-Ohio, obviously. Next weekend, we are going to Bristol Motor Speedway for the Food City 300, which is going to be race 22 of 33. After that, we have Road America for the Johnsonville 180, which is going to be race 23. And I think that's going to be the end of the regular season because just like in the Truck Series and the Cup Series, you know, you got 10 races left um, once the uh, playoffs begin. And, uh, of course, Road America is where I made the intro for this Let's Play, so it's probably going to be a really easy race, and we might just get ourselves our fourth win of the season. Yeah, I was almost going to say fifth win of the season, but no, that was Justin Algar who just did that. And speaking of Justin Algar, still at the top of the point standings and the playoff standings, as you'd expect right here. William Byron is in second place with that one win. William Byron just got himself a freaking 18th place finish at Mid-Ohio. Oh, my God. Elliot Tyler is in third, Eric Jones fourth, Ryan Reed fifth, and you can look at the rest of this stuff. We have already seen some of this because we just looked at it a while ago. Blah, 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 blah. I say blah, 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 blah a lot. I know, but I mean I can't think of anything else to say whenever I don't know what to say. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and more. So I'll see you guys next time for the Food City 500. No, this is not the Cup Series. Food City 300, because everything is sponsored by Food City whenever you go to Bristol in the Xfinity Series. Let's play with Ty Majeski. That's going to be race 22. We have five races left of the playoffs. So I thought it was freaking two races. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Go figure. JC never knows what he's talking about in these freaking videos. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.